Hi friends, we are back with our Getting Organized series. Um, so this month we've been talking about a lot of different things. We've been talking about some tips for really, some habits for mastering your day, some product uh, tips to boost productivity, um, some tools that are really great to help you get your life organized. But today I want to focus specifically on one, I think, really underrated, ever so humble, doesn't get enough props tool, and that is the to-do list. Um, it just, I know it seems like such a simple little thing, um, but it's really powerful as an organizational tool. And uh, I think if we use it in the proper way, uh, whether it be a digital list or whether it's a hard copy of something, by using it in the appropriate way, we can really get a lot out of it. It can really keep us focused, on task, organized, motivated to keep moving, um, and getting, getting things done, or that other word. <laughs> um, so today we're going to talk about some to-do list success tips. So before we go there, um, I am Nancy Brooker, the Living in Yes coach for women who feel overwhelmed with life demands and really secretly don't feel good enough, um, but are really ready to transform that voice inside their heads, that inner critic, and to um, really embrace life. So they hire me to teach them how to connect to their um, inner wisdom, to their inner worth, and really trust themselves so that they can start rocking their relationships and stressing less and really living in yes. So here's your to-do list tips for today. Number one, keep it short. Now I know I am guilty, guilty, guilty of these to-do lists that go on for days and days and days. I've, I've done that, miles and miles of to-do lists. Um, but here's the thing. I think it's really important, keep it short, maybe 10 or less, um, and what you'll find is you'll it'll help you be prioritizing what really needs to happen. Now I know you're thinking, oh, but I don't want to forget that that needs to be done. Absolutely not. That needs to be written down. Write it on your calendar somewhere in at a date in the future. You know, if that's something that isn't really going to, um, it doesn't really have a, a deadline, an urgent deadline, doesn't have to be done today, or if there's only a small piece of it that you want to be done, you can put that small piece on your list for today. Um, but just dumping everything but the kitchen sink onto one list is going to be overwhelming for you. It's going to be demotivating. It's going to stop you from wanting to even look at the thing. Never mind the time it took you to write it all out. Um, so really to try and start prioritizing up front, keeping a list short, of course, uh, that doesn't mean only uh, unimportant items. Uh, it means keeping the, the most important things on there, the things that really should be done today. And, um, you know, if we do that, then, you know, think about if you had a list that had 47 things on it and you're able and you get three things done or four things done. Well, that doesn't really feel very good because there's still all these things left on your list. But if you have the important things on there and you get four or five or six or all of them done, uh, think of how great you feel by the time the day is over and how much more motivated you are to keep moving. Make sure you keep separate lists. Keep one for work and another for home. And of course there are subtask lists under there too of whatever else, you know. But don't mix the two. Don't, miss, don't mix your work with your home. <clears throat> and you know, I, I have another, I have a separate list as well for, um, you know, things that I, I have aging parents that I have responsibilities for. And so I have a list for them of things that I don't want to forget. Doctors, I have to remember to make this doctor's appointment or whatever that is. Um, so, you know, keep those sorts of lists too. But don't, don't uh, crowd up. Like I said, keep the list short, 10 or under. Um, make sure you prioritize. So you can do this in lots of different ways. You can, you know, number them as you put them on your list. You can highlight them. You can put stars. You can write them in all capitals, whatever that is. I kind of like to, I mean, for me, I like to write out what I think I need to get done that day and then have a look and see what my priorities are and try and do them sort of earlier in the day um, because that's when I tend to get more done. Um, I'm more productive. So thinking about uh, what time of day you're more productive as well, which actually takes us into our next thing. So, um, you know, prioritizing, getting the important, some of the harder things done first, and also sprinkling, you know, some of the easier things in there as well, which is something I like to do because then I get to, to check them off. But assigning a time limit and 
um, not just how long it it uh, is going to take to get done, but when it needs to be done by during the day. Because uh, sometimes it might need to be done before lunch. Sometimes you're better off doing it before lunch because that's when you work better. Um, or maybe it's something you need to do on your way home before you pick up the kids. Uh, just so that you've got that reminder in there um, on how that's going to work. And again, what time of day do you work best? And during the day, you're going to keep, this is a work in progress. It's a working document. It's not set in stone. And it's not make it or break it, I, I did it or I didn't do it. It's, it's um, a living document that you're going to be looking at and revisiting and re reworking during the day and checking off as you finish things, right? Crossing off things that aren't important anymore that, you know, maybe at one point, you know, earlier in the day, that was a real priority, but things have changed during the day and now you can move that to somewhere else or something you ended up, uh, something else came up and you had to prioritize that because life happens. So, and finally, just keep that list with you. Um, I don't know, I, I've done this, oh, I do this with grocery lists all the time, but with task lists, you know, it's nice when uh, you always have it on you. So if it's in your purse or whatever, if it's on your phone, <clears throat> if it's um, in your day timer that you carry around wherever, um, always really great because it, it keeps everything in the forefront of your mind of, of what needs to be done. So of course, uh, those of us working from home, that's a bit easier because, you know, our, it's always here with us. <laughs> but so what's the bottom line? The bottom line, again, as always, is just pick something. You know, your to-do list can be really powerful, really helpful in keeping you organized, motivated, on task, and focused um, if you use it appropriately. Um, and that doesn't mean that you have to do everything perfect right up front. That might just mean picking one or two, you know, of the things that we've talked about today and implementing those, you know. Maybe you start with shortening up your list. Um, maybe you start with assigning times, like what time of day does it have to be done, whatever that is, however that's going to work for you. So keep it short, separate lists for work and home, uh, prioritize, assign a, a time limit, revisit and rework, and keep it with you. And remember, you can't reach for anything new if your hands are still full of yesterday's junk. So um, that's a quote by Louise Smith. So, you know, to keep yourself moving forward, to keep your mind clear and focused, um, use those to-do lists. They're very powerful. If you're having a hard time creating new habits in your life or changing old habits, uh, let's, let's connect and talk about how uh, we can work together to make that change for you. Thank you so much for listening. You are awesome and amazing, and I'm so appreciative that you were here and listening. And please come visit me over at Living in Yes um, Facebook. Um, subscribe down below to this YouTube channel, uh, or you know, let's book a, a no charge clarity call and let's talk about what's going on in your life. Um, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.